audio jungle. So we are going to talk about our next big idea from section 1.4. We've got big idea 7 here. This is an actual GED problem you're going to see. Pretty much everything we were doing up till now leads into this. We're going to look at finding all factors of a number. So, a little reminder here, I'd like you guys to remember. This is old news to you, but please remember that a factor is a number that divides another number perfectly. What am I talking about perfectly? Basically with no remainder. Okay? So, I'm going to first find the factors of 16. Now, the tool that we use to find all the factors is the, what we call a factor rainbow. The rainbow. And I remember that because you can find everything under the rainbow. And so, um, let's go ahead and do a factor rainbow for 16 so we can see all his factors. Okay? First thing you need to know is that a factor rainbow always, always, always starts with the number 1. Doesn't matter what number I'm factoring. I'm always going to start with 1 here. Okay? And it always, always, always ends with the number itself. So the number I'm looking at is 16, so my rainbow is going to end with 16. And this is the first arch of my rainbow. Okay? Now it's going to feel a little counterintuitive. I'm going to go back and forth and back and forth. But it's important to this process um, so that we find all the factors. So the next thing I need to ask myself is the next number after 1 is 2. And I should ask myself, does 16 divide by 2? And um, I'm expecting that y'all did your homework and you're all experts with your divisibility tricks. So you know that 16 is an even number. So indeed it does divide by 2. Now, you've got to ask yourself, though, what's the other side of that fact? 16 divided by 2 is what? Or another way to think of it, 2 times what equals 16? And that's 8. 2 times 8 is 16. So I've got two more factors, 2 and 8. Okay, see my rainbow closing in on itself? Next thing I should ask myself, next number after 2 is 3. Does 16 divide by 3? A real quick sum of digits trick, 1 plus 6 equals 7. That'll show me there's no 3 in there, so I'm going to go on to the next number. Does 16 divide by 4? Indeed it does. And as a lot of you guys know, 4 times 4 is 16, so the other side of that fact is just 4 itself. So 4 is perfectly in the middle of this factor rainbow. I don't need to write him twice. I already know he's a factor. So there's my factor rainbow for 16, which means that all the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Okay? Let's try another one. Let's go for 35. So we always, always, always start with 1. We always end with the number itself. And I'll ask myself, does 30 divide, 5 divide by 2? No, it's an odd number. Does it divide by 3? No, its sum of digits is 8. Does it divide by 4? Now that's a silly question. If it didn't divide by 2, which is even, it's not going to divide by any even number. So I'll move on. Next number, 5. Does 35 divide by 5? Indeed it does. It ends in a 5. And we've got to ask ourselves the question, uh, 5 times what is 35? And that's 5 times 7. See how my rainbow is closing in on itself? There's only one number between 5 and 7, and that's 6. 35 doesn't divide by 6, so I'm done. My four factors are 1, 5, 7, and 35. And we'll do one more, which scares a lot of people because it's so um, large. But I wanted to do this for you guys so you could see that. It's not that scary with the rainbow because it closes in on itself pretty quickly. But let's give it a try. Always start with 1, end with the number itself. I'm going to leave some space here. Now, does 80, 84 divide by 2? Of course it does. It's an even number. And 2 times what is 84? Well, that one's easy. I can use some sight division. 2 goes into 8 4 times. I went into 8 perfectly. 2 goes into 4 twice perfectly. Beautiful. You know what? I think I'm not giving myself enough space. 
make sure we've got room. Okay. So next thing I need to ask myself, does 84 divide by 3? Now, here's where my A students and my B students get separated. Guys, half of y'all are going to look at this number and tell me, no, it doesn't divide by 3. There's no 3 in there. That's even. That is not the rule for threes. What is the rule for threes? It's a sum of digits trick. Let's go ahead and do a sum of digits. 8 plus 4 is? 8 plus 4 is 12. Does 12 divide by 3? Heck yeah, it does. Okay? So if the sum of digits divides by 3, so does the number. Now I know what you're thinking. I don't know how many times 84 uh, divides by 3. And that's fine. You've got two choices. You can use a calculator or you can use long division. I'm old-fashioned, guys. I'm going to use some long division. I'm going to pull 3 out of 84 and see what's left. 3 goes into 8 twice with the remainder of 2. Drop a digit. 3 goes into 24 8 times, and that's perfect. So I've got no number left here. Which means that the other side of this fact, 3 times what equals 84? 3 times 28. Okay? Let's keep this up. Does 84 divide by 4? This is just a two-digit number, so I'll give it a try. Let me check. Goes in perfectly 21 times. So I get 4 here. I get 21 there. Ooh. I know. I told you this wasn't going to be too bad. I already feel a little guilty. Does 84 divide by 5? Is it divisible by 5? It sure isn't. doesn't end in 5 or 0. Next number to check is 6, and I happen to know, guys, I see a 2 and a 3 in this list. Guess what? 6 is going to be in there as well. So, how many times does 6 go into 84? Looks like it's 14 times. Oh my gosh. Here. Can you guys pretend it's in there? 14. Because I still have numbers to check in between 6 and 14. Next number to check is 7. And like I said before, there's no divisibility trick for 7, so you guys just got to divide. Does 7 go into 84? Let's give it a try. Oh, look at that. It does. No remainder. And so I have a 7 and a 12 in my factor rainbow. It's getting really, really messy. Let me rewrite it for you guys, okay? Don't get mad at me now. 1. I just need room. So I can skip 12, 14, 21, 28. I tried to pick a big number so it would have lots of factors. So I could do the hard ones for you guys. Um, looks like I did well, huh? Y'all like this number? Is this hard enough for you? If this comes up in your practice set, you'll be able to cheat. Okay, so got all that. Next number I got to check for is does 84 divide by 8? And at this point, y'all probably already have your calculator out. But since I left my calculator uh, on another table, I've got to keep dividing. Um, 8 does not go into 4 perfectly. And so I have a remainder. And so 8 is not on this list. Uh, sum of digits we already did was 12. 12 does not divide by 9, so 9 is not on this list. Next number is 10. Doesn't end in a 0. I can't pull a 10 out. And 11, this is not repeating double digits. There's no 11. I've closed in on myself. There's no more numbers left to check. The rainbow is complete. These are all the factors of 84. Woo! Fierce. Fierce. Okay, guys. So, uh, here's the good news. I chose 84 on purpose because it has a lot of factors. Most numbers don't have that many. But... Let's look at some GED examples here. Got a couple of problems you might see on the test. They could ask you to find all the factors of 36. This is one way they could phrase it. So I see the word all, and whenever I see the word all, I know that the tool that I need is the factor rainbow. And so that's what we're going to use to find all the factors of 36, just like we did before, guys. So you remember what it always starts with. I know you remember. It always starts with one. And what does a factor rainbow always end with? I'm giving myself room this time. I learned my lesson, guys. 36. Okay, now let's go through the process. Even number, I've got a 2. 2 times what is 36? You can use long division or you can use a calculator. 
but I promise you it's 18. Does 36 divide by 3? Quick sum of digits will tell me that it does. 3 times what is 36? That's 3 times 12. I'm rushing now, huh? Y'all fun? Are you all coming with me? Can you keep up? Okay, so next number. Does 36 divide by 4? Once again, long division is my friend. Oh, I don't even need long division, do I? That's a fact I'm supposed to have memorized. Fired. So, uh, 36 divides by 4? <clears throat> Nine times. Does 36 divide by 5? It does not. Does it divide by 6? Indeed it does. And 6 times 6 is 36. So that guy's right in the middle of my rainbow. I am done. You don't have to draw the little rainbows, by the way. I just do that because I like them. Okay, what are the factors of 135? I don't know. Let's give it a try. I, I wanted to put this one here because sometimes people get confused when it doesn't say the word all. Guys, if I just say what are the factors, assume I'm asking for all of them. Later we'll learn other kinds of factoring problems. But if it just says factors, we're going to assume they mean all of them. So, 135. First factor is, of course, 1. Last factor is, of course, 135. And to tell you the truth, even though this is a large number, I'm probably giving myself more room than I need. Because 135 is an odd number. Um, I'm only going to be able to find odds in it. So I'm not even going to bother to talk about the evens. It's not going to divide by 2, 4, 6, 8, or any even number. So I'm going to go straight to the odds. Uh, does 135 divide by 3? Let's do our sum of digits trick. 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9. So indeed, I've got a 3 in there. The question is, how many 3s? Goodness. You can race me, see if you can do it faster in your calculator than I can do it by hand. Some of my students enjoy that. Okay, looks like 3 goes into 135, 45 times. I write that down there. Okay, next odd number to check is, does it have a 5 in it? Well, look at that. Of course it does. It's got a 5 on its butt. You know it's got a 5 in it. So, divide 5 out of it. Uh, 5 goes into 13 twice. That's a remainder of 3. Drop a 5. Looks like I've got, whoa, my brain and my hand did not participate. 5 goes into 35 7 times. Okay, so 5 times 27. So, we didn't divide by 2, so we're not going to check any even. Next odd number is 7. Does 7 go into 135? Uh, not looking like it. Let's see, 7 times 9 is 63, but I've got a remainder. Oh, remainders, always throw it out. Okay, so next number to check then would be 9, and we have a trick for 9. Do you guys remember what it is? Nobody remembers. It's a sum of digits trick. 1 plus 3 plus 5, we already did it once, is 9. Huh, that was a dead giveaway. If it adds to 9, there's a 9 in it. Let's divide that 9 out. Okay. 135 divides by 9 15 times. Now, um, I only have a couple of odd numbers still left. 11 and 13. Uh, I, I did teach you a trick for 11s, but it only works... Um, for double digit numbers and this is a triple digit number so my only choice is to is to divide a uh, long division so I'm going to do it for 11 and I'm going to really quickly see that this is not going to work okay 11 is not going to go into 25 perfectly here I am going to end up with a remainder so I don't have an 11 and real quickly I'll see the same thing from 13 because it goes into that 13 there real perfectly but then I'm left with this little 5. And uh, 13 obviously can't go into 5. So I'm done. These are my factors of 135. Wasn't as painful as it looked, even though it was a big number. Okay, so we're done with this concept. And next, y'all can do your homework. I promised it. Here it is. Homework for this section. Again, um, recommend that you spend some time doing this one, making sure you know it, because these are on your test. You will probably have um, a problem like this or that involves this skill on your GED. And so 
1.4 N is what you should try in Quizlet. Obviously, guys, I'm always talking about Quizlet. And it's called Finding All Factors. Good luck.